President Buhari-led administration has over the time initiated various poverty alleviation and job creation interventions with the aim of bringing out many Nigerians out of poverty. These interventions have been carried out by various ministries, departments and agencies, with many Nigerians yet to access some of them, while some have benefited. On January 5, 2021, the Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment flagged off one of these intervention programs with the Special Public Works Program for the employment of 774,000 Nigerians from the 774 local government areas in Nigeria. However, the program was to employ 1,000 persons from each of the 774 local government areas, with each beneficiary earning 20,000 monthly for a period of three months. So making a total of 60,000 for every participant. They have done a lot for the local government areas. They have participated in the construction of roads and uh, drainage evacuation and so many other things and general sanitation of the area councils. Lots of programs, you know, some of them taught in classes, some of them helped in traffic control. Though this employment intervention attracted much rancor between the National Assembly and the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Mr. Festus Kiamu, because of its implementation approach. But the program was later implemented through the National Directorate of Employment. What we're doing exactly now is trying to get an exit route for them, you know. It's a basic, basic business training we're trying to conduct for the participants, all the 774 participants in all over the nation. Everybody will have one business idea or the other, but now we're teaching them, you understand, how do you conceptualize a business? How do you, you know, identify a marketable business? How can you sustain it? These are the things we're teaching them. By the time they live here, Lots of them will be able to do something with the little money that I know. Even though some people who could not benefit were not happy, we had the opportunity to assess the impact of the intervention with some beneficiaries. Uh, I'm going to be 60,000. First one, give me 20,000. The second one, come give me 40,000. I carry on put for my business. I inform my business. My business now is a come, my shop come full. I pray for, for more to come because we have less privileges around, people that need help, people that need to be touched around. So many people are around, but they don't have the opportunity to come here. We that we are being given the privilege is God's grace. So, let's go. When I program the Amba, I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, I have to Local government, Mungodi. Then give me first one, he give me 19,000, second one, he give me 39,000. You understand me? I collect my ATM with the Heritage Bank. This money I put up for my business. God, it don't bless them. I help, I help myself. I help many people with this money. But then, there are controversies of non-payment, underpayment, and name swap of people. About uh, four or five banks were selected to do the capturing of the eight participants. We had some small hitches on these payments because BVN, some of the names, account numbers, incorrect account numbers, all of them. Some of these participants came from the rural areas. But as I talk to you now, about 90% of these people have been paid. Now that the three months program is over, what is next for the participants? At the end of this program, a lot of them, you know, will use part of their money to start something. Somebody will start something, sell sugar cane, juice, the idea now is how do you do? You are learning some small bookkeeping, how to get in contact with any microfinance, all the business, how to do a feasibility study, little. Some of them will do this, they'll learn these things here and they'll move forward. Um, you know, some of these people have received their money. Their money is in their account. They have not touched it. So the essence of the program is to give them a basic business knowledge so that when they go, for those that want to use the money for business, even if it's a table they are putting in front of their houses, it will help them. Well, it is expected that these beneficiaries, who are mostly women, will manage the funds and support others in their communities.